Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're playing with some makeup that I don't think I've used on camera before, but I have used a lot off camera. Then I'm mainly talking about the Head in the Clouds palette by Mitchell. I've had this for quite a while, I think since June. And I'm not sure if you can see, but I have used almost all the shades quite a bit. And this is actually one of my favorite palettes and when I was thinking about what I wanted to do today I I just wanted to play with this palette again, but this time on camera So we're going to do a fun colorful look with this one And then I'm going to finish up the whole face and just make a look out of it So that's what we're doing today and if you're interested in that then please keep watching But real quick before we get started I want to thank you so much for clicking on my video My name is Cecile, I am 28 years old, I live in the Netherlands And I try to usually upload two to three times a week but I've been a little bit ill lately So I haven't been able to keep up with that But <laughs> I'm sure it'll be alright soon <laughs> So if you'd like to see more makeup content about various brands and various styles and various colors <laughs> and I kind of like every kind of makeup and I experiment with a lot of it then uh, do consider subscribing, I would love to have you around. I'm going to use the same eyeshadow base that I have been using in all my videos in the past couple of months which is the Glam Light icing primer in the shade classic vanilla then i'm going to zoom you in a little bit so everything is blended out properly now let's get into this fantastic colorful palette i'll show you once more it is a 25 pan palette and it's the uh one of the three palettes in this size that he has released by now but this is by far my favorite design of color so this is the only one i own i really like playing with this one and this one, those blue and turquoisey shades. One criticism that I have with this palette is that all the deep mattes, which are these two and this one here, pretty much seem to be this, the same shade on the eye. So they're all sort of blue purpley. That's, that's okay, <laughs> I can work with that, but that's sometimes a little bit difficult. But I think what I want to do is I want to do a multi-toned crease and then also a multi-tone shimmer, maybe even do a cut crease? I haven't done that in a while. I'll let you know what I'm using. <laughs> so I'm going to start with cleaning up the brush. So I'm using this sort of small fluffy blending brush-ish kind of thing because I'm going to add some matte shades into my crease. I'm going to do a yellow turquoise blue combination with maybe a little bit of that blue purple in the outer corner so i'm going to start with the shade banana skies which is this one over here which is a little bit lighter than that other yellow matte shade i'm going to put this right there maybe i'll zoom you in a little bit more that's better right <laughs> i really like this yellow for some reason. I use it a lot when I use this palette as a blending out shade, as an inner corner shade. I like it better than the other yellow for some reason. They're almost the same but this one is a little bit more pastel -y. By the way, have you guys been um, buying a lot of Black Friday stuff? I pretty much blew my whole budget on presents for my boyfriend so I really haven't been buying a lot. But I am trying out this new brand, new to me at least. It's called Root Cosmetics and they sell it at Ici Paris XL and I never heard of it. But they're pretty affordable and they have pretty awesome uh, color combinations. So I, I'm going to try some stuff of theirs. I ordered it today. So you can expect a nice glittery video because it's a glittery palette with that one this weekend. I'm just going to really intensify this yellow. It's a little bit heavy right now, <laughs> but I think it'll be okay when I blend everything. I'm cleaning up my brush and now I'm going into the shade Bora Blue, which is this minty shade over here. And I will deepen all of this up later. And I feel like those two combined make a nice minty green 
transition. I think I'm going to deepen it up right now. So I'm first going into that deeper yellow shade uh, over there. See if I can deepen that first shade a little bit. Yeah, I don't feel like that made a lot of difference. I really don't feel like both of those shades needed to be in this palette, but all right. Um, then I'm going into this shade over here, which is called Cockpit. I'm going to use that to deepen up the minty shade. See, these two I understand. This one is definitely a little bit deeper than the other one, but... These shades are super duper pigmented. <laughs> Do you see how bright this is? I'm going to put some darker shades underneath so it'll come together. But right now it's really... <laughs> wow. Uh, Alright, now I'm going into the shade Midnight. Which is this one over here. Which appears purple. But is really... If I'm remembering correctly. Or I mean it appears blue but it's really more of a purple. I guess it's a, a true indigo in between both of those shades. So I'm going to use this, still all with the same brush, to deepen up the outer corner and the crease a little bit. I don't think I'm going to do an actual cut crease. I think I like it better when everything is diffused. And for how pigmented those lighter shades were, this one really needs a lot of building up. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm also putting it in the outer corner of the lower lash line. Yeah, I think that's grounding the look nicely. I blended it into the green. I think this side can be blended just a little bit more. So I think that's it for the mattes. I feel like a nice tropical bird, which is always one of my preferred looks. So now I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to add some shimmers. And I feel like I only need to add two or three. So I'm going into this beautiful shimmery turquoise. This is called Twinkle. Yeah, I think it's called Twinkle with UL. <laughs> this is actually a really soft shade that's very creamy. So I'm going to put this all over the lid. A little bit diagonally. This palette is getting heavy too carry with one hand. I'm really cleaning up this brush and I'm going to blend out the edges of that turquoise a little bit more. All right and now I'm using the same brush and I'm going to pick up this yellow shade which is a shimmer which is called Better Days and I'm going to put that right at the inner part also in an outwards motion yeah i think that really did something overlapping blue a little bit but i'm not covering the matte yellow all the way all right looking good so far cleaning up the brush again and i'm going into the the shimmery white right over here which is called clouded and I'm going to put this in the inner corner now I still need something on my lower lash line or at least the, the inner part and I kind of feel like <laughs> adding another shimmer <laughs> so I'm going to add a couple after all so I'm going into this beautiful blue shade which is called eclipse and I'm going to put that right here Blending it into the white. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. I am going to take a little bit away with my wipe. 
so the upper part becomes a little bit more intense but yeah i like this <laughs> it took a little while i can fin finally put this down <laughs> so i'm just going to add some liner and mascara and clean up off camera because my battery is about to die and then we'll come back and do the face I'm back, it's slowly becoming very dark, so I'm going to speed through this a little bit. I did add a light blue liner in my waterline and I added some Essence Lash Princess and some Catrice Lashes in this packaging. They're in the style Serious Volume and they're, they were incredibly easy to apply. I did use them before but I thought they weren't that good. But they look kind of nice. So I hope it's still bright enough. Let me see, maybe I can turn up the volume a little bit on these lamps. This? <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm going to <laughs> stop meddling with it right now. I kind of want to use my glowish skin tint again. I sort of stopped using it when fall came around. Well, not completely, but I didn't use it as much. But I feel like it matches this sort of Caribbean vibe that I have on my eyes. So I'm not using any primer, I'm just going in with a brush. I thought this shade was going to be too dark for me, but I kind of still have my summer shade right now. For some reason. I don't think I'm having the best skin day. This has looked a little bit better on me on different, different occasions, but it doesn't look bad. I don't think. I'm going to add a little bit of my favorite Pat McGrath concealer. I have been using the Anastasia one a lot lately because it was a little bit newer. But I really like this one a lot better. The other one just looks a little bit cakey for some reason. So I'm going to highlight. I'm taking my 4D concealer brush. By the way, I ordered from Boozy Shop a little while ago and I got a freebie sponge just to, to add to my order for free. And it was really good. <laughs> I'll show you in a little bit. I use it dry just to blend out the concealer after I blended it out with the brush. And then I also use my finger. <laughs> so it's a... a large process. But I feel like it works. You can use the brush for the coverage and for blending out the initial bits. Then I take this pink sponge and I just go over it. And I don't want any extra dewiness. So that's why I use it dry. And this sponge is so soft that it really doesn't matter if you use it dry or not. And it doesn't take away too much of the coverage. So I just pounce my face really. <laughs> I used to do this with my foundation brush, but now I do it like this. And then I take my finger and I just blend out the absolute edges around my eyeshadow. And I feel like it looks pretty good. I'm not sure if you can see it in this lighting. Maybe if I do like this, but... It's been working for me. <laughs> Takes a little bit longer, but it has been working. For me. I'm going to try something else that I haven't used on camera before, which is the blush by Made by Mitchell that I bought from Boozy Shop when I bought my Moonspell 2 palette. And I just remembered that I haven't used it on camera yet. And I think it'll go beautiful with this eyeshadow. This is the packaging. It's really good. I used it a couple of times. And the shade is Can't Cope with Coral which is, yeah, well, a coral shade. I really like her, her. <laughs> I really like his packaging. <laughs> so I'm going to add some right here. And this blends out fairly easily, so I can use quite a lot. Actually going to add a little bit more. So it's this beautiful complementary shade for the eyeshadow, I think. And then I just tap it out with my finger. It's a really creamy consistency, but it's not too emollient. So it doesn't disrupt anything that's underneath. It's almost a neon shade. 
It looks really good with this eyeshadow, I think. Just going to tap out the edges over here. So yeah, those were the two products, or maybe there's one more that I wanted to share on camera. I'm also going to remove the foundation from my lips. And I'm also going to remove the foundation around my brows. I always forget to do my brows first. But I like using the Anastasia Brow Freeze, so this is what I do. So it looks a little bit bad right now. <laughs> it looks like I got an edge, but it'll fill up with my brow hairs. So this is the Anastasia Brow Freeze and this is the spoolie that I use with it. So I just take a little bit of the product and I'm going to slick my brows up. And if I don't remove the foundation before I do this, then my brows become completely colored with it. They're like white paint. So I like to <laughs> remove most of my foundation around this area. And then I go with my finger and tap the edges on the places where I remove too much. And this is the result. It looks a little bit washed out on camera, but my eyebrows are actually dark enough, so I don't need to do anything else. I do sometimes and then I usually regret it. <laughs> Alright, now I need just a little bit of powder, I think. I'm going to give this one another shot. This is the Glam of Sweden Pressed Perfect Finish Powder. This is a pressed powder. And I did try this once in a new drugstore video and I did kind of like it. But I'm only going to set right underneath my eyes and next to my nose. Maybe a little bit on my nose. Right, also a little bit here. So we're almost done and my camera is almost shutting down. So I'm going to finish this up quickly. For my lipstick I want to use something that's relatively new to me. Which is a Pat McGrath Blitz Trans lipstick in the shade Full Fantasy. Oh, no wait, this is Nude Romantique. I thought I bought <laughs> Full Fantasy. <laughs> I was wondering why it was different than the one Erin Nicole TV always recommends. But this one is really pretty as well. It's a little bit more of a deepish, at least medium toned nude on me. And you really have to break through the outer shell to get all the shimmer. Look at that shine. So I'm not going to leave it completely like this. I am going to use my uh, Huda Glowish bronzer to add just a little bit of color and shade to my cheeks. But I don't want to go overboard with it. I feel like the eyes and everything already draw so much attention. This is a nice subtle bronzer. I feel like I mainly need it on my forehead today. <laughs> Look how much brighter this one is. And also a little bit around my nose, as usual. Yeah, that looks a lot more appropriate for the eye look that I have on. And then I'm going to finish it up with just a little bit of highlighter. I'm going into the Dior palette, into the gold shade. I feel like this will match my eye look. I'm just going to put a little bit here and a little bit here. And a little bit on my nose. Alright, that's it for the finished look. Sorry I rushed through that later part a little bit. Let me see if I can make this into a nice shot. So this is the finished look. I really like it. I always love playing with my favorite products. I always feel like those videos are a lot better than the ones where I just try cheap stuff and you know, whatever. <laughs> I feel like when I really um, care about the products that I use, the look just comes out a lot better. So yeah, let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next and I will see you in the next video.